Um, so hormesis is, uh, you know, I think it's a wonderful thing. I like to call it whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger and longer lived. But that doesn't mean at all that we want to always be under this same condition. And the more we learn from studies, what we realize actually is that the body uh, can even get used to hormesis. Right? You want to be changing things up in your daily life, in, in probably in supplements. And, uh, and it's no surprise to me that it gets confusing because we have this standard model and, and a lot of books written about it that if something works, you know, to take it in the morning, if you take it three times a day, it'll work even better. You know, and that's not true. When you take it, how much you take, uh, in terms of the day and whether you're exercising, whether you've eaten, all of these things play in, and it's extremely complicated. And if anyone says they know the answer, they are lying or, or they're del delusional because we don't know um, at all, really, what the best combination of these supplements is in and also combination with diet and time of day. Now, I don't want uh, listeners to think that we know nothing, right? We, we know a fair bit. There's a whole 30 years of research on this, even more. Uh, but I think as a general theme, what guides my research and also, uh, you know, what I, what I hesitate to call self-experimentation is the theory um, and the belief, actually, that that our bodies uh, want to, to be challenged. And that's what wakes up the sirtuins, the AMPK, the mTOR, the insulin IGF-1, which is controlling mTOR. And because some of the experiments that, that we do in the lab have seen that, that I'll give you a good example, um, resveratrol, right? Everyone dumb that down, let's just drink lots of red wine and we'll all live longer. That's, that's not true. For a start, you need to have a lot of resveratrol. But the other thing that's missed even by scientists, particularly those scientists who you know want to challenge my research, is that they, they miss the fact that we also published with, with Rafa de Cabo down at NIH, that resveratrol given on a high fat diet will extend lifespan. Resveratrol given on a lean diet did not extend lifespan. By the way, the, the amount that got into the body of those lean animals was about fivefold less of, than what you get if you have a fatty meal. But what did work that is almost always ignored or, or intentionally or, or otherwise is that if we gave resveratrol to those lean mice every other day with their food, okay, so you're giving pulsing food and pulsing resveratrol, out of all the mice, out of all the groups, those were the ones that lived the longest, even longer than if you just gave resveratrol or intermittent fasting alone. So what does that tell me? It's, a, it's very likely that it's not just what you eat, um, it's when you eat and in certain combinations. And so I'm I'm at that I'm at that point actually where I'm trying to to discover things in my lab, discover things with my own body to try and figure out when's the best time to take things. Metformin is is a good example. There's one study that says people on metformin uh, are likely to be protected from diseases of aging, and then studies that come out, which I think are really overhyped in a negative way, uh, is that taking metformin will inhibit the benefits of exercise yeah. but but i was gonna i was gonna qualify because it's not it's on it's not all exercise it's it's weightlifting but if you drill down into the data there uh actually that that all groups metformin or without gain muscle mass they were all just as strong but there was a slight difference in the size of the muscles okay fine if, if all you care about is the size of your muscles don't take metformin if you want to be just as strong and potentially be protected against cancer, heart disease, frailty, and of course diabetes, then you know take a good look at metformin. But does that mean that you should take metformin on the same day that you exercise? Maybe not. And that's what I'm trying um, in my regimen. Uh, 